Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm New York State Attorney General Eric Schneiderman. I want to begin by thanking everyone who is here and acknowledging the many, many people throughout this area that have banded together to deal with uh, a, nat a true natural catastrophe and to help neighbors in need and keep our communities safe following the historic snowstorm. Um, the first responders, the crews who cleared snow, the National Guard troops, uh, the public officials who are here who, uh, as County Executive Poland Carr has just noted, left their labels at the door and left their titles at the door and all pulled together. Incredible spirit of community that has, uh, uh, has to be recognized and has to be celebrated. This, uh, that enabled you to get through this unprecedented storm. Uh, I want to mention uh, some of the leaders who are here with me today, my colleagues in, in government who all worked together during this period, U.S. Attorney Bill Hochul, uh, County Executive Mark Polencars, Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown, State Senator Ten Kennedy, Kennedy and uh, uh, we're also joined by uh, Senator Pat Gallivan, Assemblyman Michael Kearns, Councilman Chris Scanlon, uh, Erie County Legislator Patrick Burke, County Legislator Joe Larigo, County Legislature Lynn Dixon, and also I believe Ted Morton, and we have a special guest, Laura Kelly, the leader of the Shovel Brigade Mob, uh, which is not a mob in the sense of, that our organized crime task force <laughs> uses the word. But, but I have to say that everyone here has shown tremendous leadership, and uh, we have uh, now to move to the next phase of the crisis. And appreciating the gravity of the situation here, I, I have people in my office here and people in my staff who were trapped by the snow. I have people who've lived here their whole lives who say they've never seen anything like this. And in this part of the state, that's saying a lot. Uh, but the toughness, the grittiness, the community spirit that was on display here has to be commended. Um, I have to say that uh, uh, the Shovel Brigade mob, uh, a group of over 200 volunteers who helped neighbors shoveling driveways and sidewalks free of charge, uh, really showed what it means to be a part of the community. And I'm honored to thank a few of them who are here with us today. Thank you for your work. But it, and it is really emblematic of a lot of people who did step up and volunteer. Whenever we have cri these crises, and we went through it in Long Island and New York City with Superstorm Sandy, most New Yorkers rise to the occasion, help their neighbors, businesses uh, make make things available cheaper or for free in some cases. But there are bad actors out there who take advantage of other people. It's nice to start a press conference acknowledging the incredible work done by people who were good actors, the good people in the community who helped get their neighbors through uh, really tragic circumstances in some cases. Uh, but. Uh, I want to extend my sincere appreciation to all of the volunteers, and thank you, Laura, and thanks to everyone else here. Uh, while you represent uh, the best of what New York has to offer and what the people who rise to the occasion in time of disaster, uh, there are always a small minority of truly reprehensible people who uh, try to take advantage of people who are victims of a natural disaster by making them victims again. Uh, while a lot of New Yorkers had their minds on Turkey in the last couple of weeks, in my office we've been on the lookout for vultures uh, because there are some shady contractors and characters who overcharge for anything they can. Uh, New York has a price gouging statute that is enforced by my office. As soon as the storm hit, we went into action, sent out notices uh, to businesses and to people in the communities that were affected. And uh, whether it is snow removal, home repairs, uh, stores that inflate the price of goods, uh, we will pursue them. We've done this before. We're good at it. And I assure you that we have already begun dozens of investigations. Complaints of price gouging uh, have included uh, many complaints related to snow removal from roofs, including one complaint that someone charged $3,600 to remove snow from a roof. Snow removal from driveways and snow plowing, in one case $700 was charged to clear a driveway, and also complaints related to groceries, towing, gasoline, and equipment rental. We've sent dozens of cease and desist letters to businesses when they were, it was reported that they were engaged in these activities, and we're here today to make it clear that we have zero tolerance for people who prey on their neighbors in a time of crisis. It is illegal, it is reprehensible, and we will enforce the price gouging laws aggressively we can, as we can whenever we see it. The uh, 
the beginnings of this process of repair are always difficult for people and difficult for the community. And we're seeking to be uh, partners with our colleagues here in government uh, to the greatest extent we can and to be creative in our approach to that. The, uh, pe many people now are trying to get their homes repaired, dealing with contractors, filing insurance claims, navigating other storm-related problems uh, that affects a lot of homeowners. Sometimes people have to tap into equity in their homes to pay for repairs, but no one should have to fight uh, alone with their insurance company or mortgage provider as they try to recover from a natural disaster. Uh, my office has in, been in communication with a lot of the folks you see here today, and many have asked us to help, uh, help people secure the assistance they need, and we're doing so. Uh, I'm, I'm announcing today, uh, although it has been in operation uh, for since the storm, that our office is making uh, uh, additional resources through our HOP network, the Homeowner Protection Program, housing counselors and legal services providers, uh, some of whom are here with us today. Raise your hand. if uh, See, now this is a good example. These are people you can contact to get free assistance. You don't have to respond to some scammer who says they can help you with your insurance company or they can help you with your, your mortgage lender. We have a network of lawyers here. We went through the same thing again when we faced the problems with Sandy. They're effective. We provide, we've made a commitment of funds we've recovered from the banks that caused the housing crisis of $100 million for these pro programs, and they're available to everyone in Buffalo. We are, um, we are also, uh, you know, in addition to providing these 90 different legal services and housing counseling agencies across the state, and some of them are identified here on this map, uh, we are also helping people deal with it, problems with insurance companies, all of the other problems that come up after a disaster. We are uh, hopeful that we can be a true partner with our colleagues in local government in helping the people of, of Buffalo and, and Erie County and every affected community recover and deal with the bureaucracies that may stand between them and help that they're, to which they are entitled. If you're having trouble dealing with uh, contractors or with your mortgage company or your insurance provider, there is free help available. You can call our hotline. You can go on our website, aghomehelp.com, uh, to find the agency closest to you or to receive other help. I'm joined today also, and I, I should have mentioned at the outset, Mike Russo, who is the head of our regional office here, and Marty Mack, who's my deputy uh, assistant a a AG, who is uh, in charge of all of our regional offices. Uh, they have, they know what the drill is here. We've had, we've been through this before. We have the ability sometimes in situations where there's a homeowner getting pushed back from a bank or, uh, or someone else to put into effect what we call escalation, and we can move this to a higher level. And there's sometimes it will come as no surprise to many of you when a call from someone in our office gets more attention from a bank than a call from a homeowner. Uh, we are happy to provide that assistance, and our HOP network uh, are very skilled at doing that. Um, finally, uh, we know that the Postal Service here was suspended for several days, which means there was a backlog in delivering mail that could include things like utility bills, credit card statements, and other critical correspondence. So what we have done um, is try to do something for the people uh, whose bills came late, uh, who may face late fees and penalties that are not their fault, and we don't want to see uh, the severe effect, uh, long-term effect of having someone's credit rating uh, hurt because of something like this. So we have written today, I've written today, and called on banks, mortgage providers, utilities, and others to suspend late fees for people victimized by the storm, and the, some of the companies that we have been in touch with uh, are listed here, and we will be following up. Uh, as people struggle to pay bills and deal with all the, the other storm-related expenses, uh, we are cautioning people, please talk to our office, talk to legal service providers and housing counselors in the HOP network. Be very careful about scammers. Do not get tempted by payday loans with extremely high interest rates. If you have a problem, uh, there is help available. Uh, don't act out of desperation. Act uh, with wisdom and all the public officials who are here with me today uh, are their offices are good place to points of contact as well and I urge you uh, don't try and do this alone uh, if you need help help is here and uh, just as the shovel brigade mob was there to help you out the rest of us are here now for this next phase of the recovery and with that I would like to introduce uh, a partner uh, a colleague and a friend who is uh, uh, really just been a terrific uh, ally of mine throughout my tenure as Attorney General, your great uh, U.S. Attorney, Bill Hochul. 
Thank you, General. Thank you. Thank you, General, and uh, thank you so much for all of your work and all of your attention to Western New York. As you've described, this last storm we had really was of an unprecedented nature, and it's so gratifying to know that we have friends and colleagues and partners at such a high level as your own, and for you to come and assemble all of the dignitaries who each have a story and who all contributed so much to the recovery and to the process of digging out, uh, I thank you. I also want to thank specifically law enforcement. As a federal law enforcement officer myself, I need to commend every police officer from the streets of Buffalo, the county sheriffs, the town departments, the state police, and the federal law enforcement officials. These uh, law enforcement men and women also had families and homes affected by the storms, but so many of them acted seamlessly as first responders, as tow truck operators on occasion. They helped shovel and dig people out. And because crime doesn't sleep, they also were on the job 24-7 making sure that the public continued to be protected. My only message in being here today was to pivot, if you will, from the Attorney General's very, very uplifting message and offer of assistance to this area, assistance which will help make sure that resources get to the right people. I join the Attorney General, though, in saying that we stand ready at the U.S. Attorney's Office to make sure money does not go into the hands of the wrong people. We have seen instances, whether it be the October surprise or the various hurricanes and natural disasters, Hurricane Katrina, Hurricane Sandy, where unfortunately people that are in the criminal milieu think they can profit by the government largesse, as well as the charitable instincts that all men and women have when they see their fellow man in need. If there is an instance which rises to the level of abuse of a federal program, such as federal emergency management funds, which we hope will be forthcoming, or if it is even an instance of a significant expenditure or resource uh, uh, theft of state funds accompanied by violence or threats, all the men and women of federal law enforcement and in my office will work with the state attorney general and our local district attorneys, have, as we have on other cases, to help make sure, once again, taxpayers are protected, the good uh, folks out there get what they really need now in this time of need, but also that the proceeds of crime and uh, the criminals themselves do not use this as a chance to get rich quick. Thank you very much, General, again, and I uh, look forward to working with you as we always have going forward. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Bill. And now um, a county executive who was working 24-7 on this and who really uh, has gotten recognition around the state and around the country uh, and who got a chance to work with a real general uh, uh, during, during this, uh, your great county executive, Mark Polencars. Thank you, General. Once a general, always a general. And uh, it was my pleasure to, uh, to work on behalf of the people of this community. And uh, I want to I wanna thank the Attorney General because he actually called me at the height of the storm and said, what, what, what do you need? And, and one of the first things we talked about is we have to be wary of scammers. You know about it. He knew about it from prior storms. The vast majority of the people in our community, 99.9% .9 of those are, are people like Laura and Susan who decided to say, we're going to make a difference, we're going to volunteer our time, we're going to shovel out some of our neighbors. 99.9% .9 of us did that. Everyone came together, as, as, as the general noted. We left all of our titles at the door, unless you were a general, then you were always called a general. Uh, we left all of our titles at the door and we worked together, regardless of political party, to solve the issues and get this community back on its feet. But unfortunately, not everybody felt the same way. As we were trying to clean off the roads, we were getting stories of people asking hundreds of dollars from seniors just to plow their driveway. And then we started hearing of thousands of dollars that people were asking seniors, including some who actually paid it, to have their roof shoveled. And, and our response was, I can't really help you that much in Erie County government, but I know someone who can, and that's the Attorney General's office and the U.S. Attorney's office, because that is someone who's taking advantage of our, of our, of our most vulnerable individuals, often seniors. They're basically using their life savings to, to, to shovel off the roof 
and to plow their driveways in that situation. Our goal in government was to ensure we were able to restore our community back to what it was as quickly as possible. And with the great work of each and every one of the people in this room, including Mayor Brown and I, who were constantly communicating together as how we could get our community back on its feet as quickly as possible, we were able to do that. But unfortunately, there was all these wonderful stories of goodness. There were a few bad apples out there. And I want to thank the Attorney General as well as the U.S. Attorney for stepping up to the plate and saying, you know what, if you are a bad apple, we're going to find out who you are and we're going to come after you because we don't want people like that to prey on people in our community, including the most vulnerable members of our community. So on behalf of each and every one of the people from Erie County, including the members of the Erie County Legislature who are here today, I want to thank the Attorney General for not only calling me at the height of the storm saying, what can we do, but following up on it and going after the bad apples in our community so that we can send a message the next time we do have a disaster, the next time we do have a storm in which our community will rally together, if you're thinking you're going to take advantage of the situation and prey on the most vulnerable, don't, because you will be caught and you will be held accountable for your actions. So on behalf of everyone in Erie County, I just want to say, thankfully, the storm is gone. Winter storm knife is gone. But let's work together to ensure that there's not a storm that impacts people individually from those who tried to take advantage of them during the storm. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you, and now uh, a longtime colleague and friend of mine who uh, uh, was out there uh, in the streets, on the roofs, in the basements, and has always been there uh, to work with me on, on so many different issues. I'm proud to be here with your Mayor Byron Brown. Thank you, Thank you very much. Well, certainly Attorney General Eric Schneiderman is a true friend and partner in government. We have worked together for a long period of time. And as County Executive Polencar said, during the height of the storm, he did call to offer the assistance of his office uh, to put the resources of the Attorney General's office um, available to the people of Buffalo and Erie County and Western New York. Uh, I want to thank him for being here today to look out for the residents and businesses in our community who are dealing with price gougers who um, are not respectful of the needs of people during this time of crisis. Um, we all worked around the clock, and you know some of those stories uh, have been noted. Uh, in fact, uh, the county executive, the governor, and I spent six days consecutively around the clock uh, working on, on the storm, and I want to just uh, recognize the county executive uh, for his great efforts and Governor Cuomo for his great efforts as well. There are so many stories of so many people, the majority of people in this community, neighbors helping neighbors, and uh, people that didn't know each other stopping to help each other in different ways. I'm glad that the ladies from the Snow Brigade are here and being recognized because they really are examples and symbols of the spirit of Buffalo, Erie County, and Western New York. It's because of people like them and so many others that this community is recognized as the city of good neighbors. And that was on display nationally and around the world in the way that most Western New Yorkers dealt with this very devastating and historic winter storm. Uh, but there were others in the minority, the few, uh, that tried to take advantage of this very difficult situation that people were in. Uh, I'm very pleased that the Attorney General is not going to allow that to happen and that our U.S. Attorney uh, is not going to allow that to happen. Uh, he has been on the case from uh, day one when the storm hit. He's been looking at these issues, and uh, we've been able to refer these complaints uh, to his office. And I know that those who have perpetrated these kinds of crimes on members of our community will not get away with it uh, because of Attorney General Eric Schneiderman. So, Attorney General, I thank you uh, for being here. I also thank you uh, for reaching out to banks and mortgage companies and utilities 
asking them to not charge people late fees uh, because the postage service was suspended in this community uh, during the storm. Uh, I know that that is certainly going to be very welcome news and support for many in this community. Uh, again, uh, Buffalo is a wonderful community. I am very proud of how people dealt with this historic storm. Uh, but for those that uh, try to capitalize on this, the few that tried to capitalize on this uh, by engaging in price gouging. Again, I'm thankful to the Attorney General for not allowing that to happen. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, and uh, uh, finally, I'd like to introduce Senator uh, Tim Kennedy, who has been in steady touch with our office and recommended that we make some of these important services available. And uh, uh, to speak, we can't, I'm sorry, we can't have all of our elected officials speak today. It would be a very long uh, event, but uh, I truly appreciate everyone else being here. But uh, to give us a little bit of perspective from a state legislator who really does care and does reach out aggressively understates Tim Kennedy's level of engagement, uh, Senator Tim Kennedy. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you very much, uh, Attorney General Schneiderman. I mean, once again coming to Western New York to deliver positive news on behalf of working families here in Western New York. In an unprecedented fashion, uh, we had one of the largest storms we have ever seen. Uh, my district was involved in it in particular. I know uh, Senator Patrick Galvin's district uh, was impacted tremendously as well. And six feet of snow that not only uh, put a standstill to the economic activity and our ability to move around in our community, but really it created a lot of damage to the homes, damage to the cars, damage to property all throughout western New York. And so Attorney General Schneiderman recognizing the assistance that folks are going to need in filing for claims and working with the community groups and working with the leadership here has allowed the resources to flow here to western New York to make it easier for homeowners and property owners owners to get access to the services that they need right here in our community. So I thank you, Attorney General, once again uh, for your leadership. Uh, we have called upon the Department of Financial Services to do what they've done here in Western New York as they've done after Superstorm Sandy and Hurricane Irene and bring the mobile response units to our community. Attorney General Schneiderman recognizing that people in our community need immediate help uh, to get back on their feet has taken a proactive role in ensuring that those resources are readily available. So we certainly owe him a debt of gratitude. And uh, to all the leadership here, Mayor Brown, County Executive, Poland Cars, again, my colleague, Senator Galvin, in the Senate, the county legislators, and uh, Councilman Scanlon have really worked together to make sure that we dig out uh, both literally and figuratively as we gain our treading back in uh, Western New York and uh, 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 get back to a full economic recovery. Thank you once Thank again. You, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. And, and with that, we can take some questions. Uh, 